but this is a calculation that I think that, um, is not, it's, it's not just science it, that there's an art to positioning your business in a way that makes sense to a buyer and you can, you can position it for, they take all the risk and, and they, you know, they're the ones that are going to be on that side of the risk or you kind of share the risk. And then I think that the size of that pot grows together. So lots of nuance in it. And I think it's, it's always a very challenging subject to, to discuss. But when I was coming into this process myself, I remember thinking the same things. I remember saying, and like, I got to get a, whatever, a five times multiple, like what's the, what are the multiples? Tell me what the multiples are in the marketplace. It's like, well, it depends. <laughs> and I hate just giving out, out answers is I don't, that's not the goal, but I really want to provide, um, specific, uh, advice and specific recommendations. And, uh, instead of just blanket statements, like, well, it's, you know, we're seeing 10 X in the ARR right now. And that's, that's what's market. It's like, well market compared to what compared if, to, well, you know, I mean, and that's quite a nice way to think about it as well. Cause you know, if you're a founder and you're looking for somebody to support you in this, it's very easy to be a broker and say, oh yeah, 10, you know, to offer a large number as an enticement to work with you. But the reality is, is you want, you want that transaction to happen, not, you know, there's a, that's as important as the price at the end of it, really. And if you go in with an unrealistic expectation of what you will sell your business for, you're going to get disappointed and that deal was more likely to fall through. Yeah. And I think there's always, an un, there's an underpinning for me when I think about a broker or a banker or an M&A advisor, sometimes there's this a little bit of pessimism or jadedness to think, well, they're probably just going to try to sell my business for less so that they can just have an easy sale and whatever transact. And it's just another transaction to them. Uh, for, for me and the way I look at this is I want to give you a realistic and an honest, the best of my ability, honest answer to how I believe buyers will react to your business. We can have some disagreement about that. And if you believe your business is worth 10 X ARR, let's discuss that. Let's see why, like, tell me why you think that's the case. And if it, you know, I could be missing something, let's figure out if that's really truly the case. And if so, then I'd be happy to support you in that and see how the market responds. Um, so I don't, I don't, whenever I work with somebody, I'm there to not just, um, tell you what the market is or tell you exactly how the market's going to respond. I want to see what are your goals? How can we achieve those goals? Where is the, where is the line here for you in the sand of like, I will never sell my business if it's, you know, under X amount of price, because then. I have to really do some, uh, like a gut check and say, is this sellable right now? I don't know. I would like it to be, I want it to be, and I want to help you. Um, but I have to really assess that before we get into any sort of engagement because I don't want to have mismatched expectations. 